let's make some kind of texture on some ups and down surfaces let's first create surface it could be a bird it could be animal so right now i'm just taking a random shape okay i'm just going to join and this portion is not smooth so we can apply adjustable cow blend okay this is fine and if you want to if you want more smoothness then you can drag this options and join and trim apply both the options okay this is somewhat fine you can also use control points but we we should not go into more details because our topic is different right now okay so right now i'm just uh, using edit points turn on select and apply rebuild to set the points properly so right now it's 22 so we are applying 25 and it is going to show preview so now the uh, distribution of points is getting proper okay so using split point at this point and second point is here because i want to apply sweep tool then i'm going i'm applying line as a cross section then i'm just using rebuild tool to redistribute the points so here is the edit points on then rebuild i'm just add, uh, setting to four points so select the points and uh, set cross section now we have first rail and this is second rail and cross section so we can also apply sweep to like this way so it is showing point so if i don't want to select cross section i can start with the point so this is my first point then this is my cross section and third is again point so this is my point so it will merge like this okay so this is my sweep you can also adjust your uh, slash so from this point to this point and you can also adjust your iso curve so these small lines are iso curves okay which are uh, helping to create objects smoothly okay so we have created this kind of shape so right now i am going to apply uv cow so create uv cow i have already selected the surface enter type in enter okay so now this is my uv cow and we are just moving this option to some another layer and hide it everything on the same layer so right now i'm going to apply some kind of texture on this surface so for this right now i'm just going to create this kind of texture so uh, let's make some kind of feather feather kind of texture and uh, from here to here you can also use copy tool and uh, use this tool. i think this is fine now use trim oh yeah don't make too much uh, sharp or too long because it will create error yeah so keep it join use join tool and uh, set it some proper place okay so right now we are just uh, applying uh, patch tool then select the object okay you can also select the curve and uh, use cage edit select bounding box vault 4 4 and 4 x y z 4 point count so you have to first learn what is uh, cage edit so then after you can apply here so right now i'm just adjusting okay so my object is okay so right now i'm applying offset surface 
so how much distance you want 0.5 so you can also add it some up upside or downside or use uh, both the sides and change the value 0.25 so it will add both the sides so this is i think this is more preferable okay so right now we are just uh, applying linear array hide this cage edit and use array linear so linear is straight so how much number of items should be 25 means around 25 and from this point uh, keep pressing shift key so it will uh, go in straight okay so this is this is fine okay uh, i should add more uh, number of items from this point to this this point this way keep pressing shift key okay right now it's fine we can uh, remove the items okay and now use shaded option go to perspective and uh, make another copy keep pressing alter key and click on this icon and just move this option here you can rotate it little bit and then okay click on this white circle and uh, set your gumball position to object and make it little bit downside okay adjustment is very, really very important so right now this is fine okay let's use side option right side and select this pattern and set it in proper way it should look ups and downs and merge the way of merge should be Bit, uh, okay, where is my Y crown? C plane and drag it to the right hand side. Yeah, this is fine. Now go to top view and use array linear 40 and this point to this point. Okay, keep pressing shift key and adjust as required make sure it it is properly aligned with one another and now you can also copy or you can also make linear array okay let's make linear array array linear number of item should be seven uh, eight and from this point now we are just uh, applying items bottom side okay I'm just right now turning off or oh snap because it's snapping everywhere so we don't want snaps so this is my texture I think we need some more well we can delete but we cannot add similar way so deleting is the fine option use the old snap and now turn off so we we need merge objects okay this is fine now go to top view select all the objects and remove this cow okay you can also go to select option and uh, click on this option so it will select all the cows and you can uh, remove it from the selection or either you can uh, move into the another layer okay so right now we are selecting and uh, applying group okay turn on planes because we need this uh, 
uh, curve okay and just moving pattern little bit upright use wireframe select the curve and uh, extrude it extrude curve both the sides not solid it should be uh, surface ok I am just uh, going to use boolean difference select the objects enter select surface then enter so we want to remove objects which are outside of this box ok this is wonderful we don't we just ungrouping the objects go to top view and select the outer patterns ok move them into another layer and here extra give the name extra and hide them now oh here there is a pattern left ok we need that right, small uh, rectangle where it's gone we need this object I think we have just scaled our pattern height go to top select and uh, scale ok this is fine now turn on our uh, previous object and uh, oh. let's first select this all the patterns and use group then turn on surface now select this option and use flow along surface so when you we are using flow along surface we having one option okay it's called plane so we are just creating plane this point to this point so this is our base base surface and we have created one plane and this is my target surface so it's asking select edge near matching corner so suppose we are clicking on this edge so this option is called flow along surface software is uh, using its intelligence and applying all the texture on surface so it is taking time and uh, it is depend on your hardware ac acceleration because if you have 32 GB RAM or 64 it will uh, do fast work either you can also use 12 GB graphic card or 8 GB or 4 GB so uh, this will make the change in result so hardware is very important ok so right now our pattern is uh, flowing from one surface to another surface So and also your curvature of the surface is also important because the more curvature the, s the software will take more time. So it's really, really important to select the proper shape. Yeah, okay. So I'm just moving this all the old pattern to another uh, layer and right now we are just checking the final surface. 
this is very wonderful you can also use render option okay it's looking fine so this is my texture on surface okay thank you